his 46th of the year. It's 14-8. That's their fourth hole. He's two outs away. Now the left fielder, number 23. And the right-hander deals. In the air, left field. Makes the grab, two down. Fifteen nine is our final for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambly. Thanks for joining us. For joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home safely. Oh my God! I want I want to get to uh, just the play. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Some Double A baseball coming at you. It's the Mississippi. So two down now, and here is number one, Kingham, back to work. Number one. That one hammered center field on its way, and it's out of here. But the guy's got a real runner on at first with one gone. Number one, the next to hit. Kingham back to work. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Another homer, his 48th of the year. It's 4 2. Number one now at the plate. All right, here we go. We need you here. We need you. Yeah, Number one. With the right hander back to work. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. 49. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one. And he's just... Top of the sixth inning. Here's the third baseman, number eight. And the two. Number eight. Popped in the air. Left field. Tracks it down for the out. And yeah, there's one away. One out, runner at second. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Drew Lugbauer, for the fourth time tonight. Lugbauer. This one lifted in the air, left field. And that one gets down, fair ball. The run scores from second, and now they trail by one. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on with this game. Man at second with one away. Jacob Ooh. Pearson getting ready to hit. Right-handed reliever. Left field. I hear you, people. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's two down. Number one will hit next. Now better. But why to kick the pitch? That one ripped. On its way. That one is gone. We need somebody on base, though. One gone, runner at first. Jacob Pearson digs in now. In the air, left side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. And 9-7 is the final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. 16 men on base. Michael Harris now at the plate. Got a second. The center field. One down, base is empty. Harris. That one lifted to left. And there's two down. Number one, the next to hit. Batting done. The left fielder. Nine, right, take one. a rip here. We need you. Davidson, Let's go. back to work. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one's carrying. Oh, oh. Reaching uh, for it. Uh, makes the catch. Sure. I've been a good triple. One down. Stepping in, number one. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. And a pitch. There's a swing and a drive. That one back. Home run. And it's gone. 
He crushes that one to center field. His 51st home run of the year. It's 2-2. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first. One out, base is empty. Now the third baseman, number eight. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Two down. The batter, number 23. <laughs> Two outs, base is empty. Number 23, getting ready to hit. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that is that. There we go. Seventh inning stretch time. Out. We are tied 2 2. My headphones battery died. And welcome back. Here's the left fielder, number one. Well, both sides equally as strong. Pro. No less so. Not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher on the other side of the plate. Yeah. And base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. At the wrong moment, because I was trying to put my uh, battery Here's the center fielder, number four. Leadoff man is on. you got to be looking for the bunt here. Try to get him into scoring How position. Got him. One away. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten it. Didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. It's softly on the ground, left side. Good feed. That's one. Over to first, okay. safe. So up next, number one. The best. Driving all These old fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. It's gone. Grand slam, yes. He muscles that one out the opposite way. His 52nd home run of the season. It's 6-2. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. Now the number two hitter, number 55. The wind of the pitch. Number 55. Popped in the air, left field, and makes the grab. One down. Man at first with one gone. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, number one. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs. Obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Could be extra bases. Here comes the runner. He's in there. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And two away now. Man at second here with two away. And yeah, the batter now, Jim Haley. And down on strikes he goes. Good job of damage control. So one out, nobody on. Now the left fielder, number 23. The left fielder, number 23. That one is absolutely belted. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. And Leading now, four number one. Three. The left fielder, number one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Up against the wall. <laughs> I was about and to say, come on, get out. No, get Almost allowed. And now the catcher comes up to him. Arden now passed. Back. Catcher. Arden passed. Hey, we got Noah. The pitch. In the air, left field. Pulls it in for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome. 
So here's the cleanup hitter, Drew Lugbaugh. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Oh, miss that one there. Here's the left fielder, number one. Hey, come on, big dog. Get now back. No pitch. One. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Stable. Always scary for a pitcher. One down. There's the shortstop okay. at the plate. Jordan Powell, one for three. In the air, left field, two away down. Two outs, nobody on. Number one will hit next. The Burrows back Number to work. One. Line drive. Yeah. Paris makes the catch, and that'll do it. Now the left fielder, number 23. Now that number 23. The 2 That one ripped. Calls it in, and there's one away. And now the right fielder, number 61. Here's a 1-2. This one lifted in the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And the end is over. And your final 4-2 for Chris on, Singleton man. and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying First so long. Victorious Braves, four runs. It was a No error, they left nine runners on. Not that I have any control of it, but still. One out, base is empty. Now, here is Jacob that's Pearson. That's Ball to strike. In the air, left side. And there's two away. So one out, nobody on. And now here is number one. No left field. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. Looking out, right? Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Power versus power. The whole room. So now the DH spot, Jesse Franklin. He's all for one. Jesse. And that one is lifted in the air. And that's the third out. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, number one. Now batting, number one. Let's go one more time, baby. And he deals. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. Get up. Yep. And it's gone. So I like to see you. With a low 90s fastball. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder. Number one. Number one. Alanese back to work. And that one hammered. That's back there. Grabs it right up against the wall. So digging in. Number one. Now battle. Number one. And here it comes. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's going back. Back some more. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. Up the second, he brought it back. Well, the fourth inning, I got the early turning it. point. They look locked. He's gone more than a few games now without drawing a walk. Plate discipline might be something to work on. I've got minor league manager Rachel Balkovec with me. Rachel, how important is it in a player's development to work on plate discipline and drawing walks? It's absolutely vital. I mean, you're always going to see that people point to the example of somebody hit a home run with a pitch at eye level. But realistically, you're going to do better at hitting line drives, hitting the ball hard and in the air with the pitches down the middle. So you just have a better chance of success. And it's extremely important in player development.
Yeah, and you know, Vlad Guerrero, the Hall of Fame outfielder, had the ability to hit pitches on the bounce, pitches that were a foot out of the zone. Most young players do not have that ability. So if you're on your way up, don't put yourself at a disadvantage by chasing a pitch that's in the opposite batter's box. Everyone, including our players, points to Vlad as as the example of why <laughs> they should be able to do that. But as you said, not everyone has that ability, and even players at the extremely high levels do better when they're swinging at strikes. He's off to a hot start in his pro career, absolutely lighting it up at the plate. I've got Sean Casey, the mayor, with me today. Casey, is this an early indication that he's going to be a star? Well, I think the biggest thing when, when you know, you have to be careful sometimes with prospects because you got to let them play out, right? I think you got to let them develop in the, in the minor leagues, get some time under their belt. You have consistency because the biggest thing when you get to the big league level is that consistency day in and day out right so you could dominate it at double a but you know and not and and get caught up too quick and then the, then the third hey, deck comes in the big leagues and the fa 50 000 fans are there instead of five it's a whole nother ball game you know so i think the biggest thing is let oh, I hear you talk. get to into my packs but yeah how do I and just buy packs from here
I care about this. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end these videos right here. Hope y'all enjoy them. I will see you on the next one. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, hit that notification button, and turn on that post, post notification bell for me. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.